What if I told you there are things in space so terrifying they make the scariest sci-fi horror movies look like bedtime stories? From invisible killers lurking in the cosmos to stars that can obliterate anything in their path, space holds some of the most spine-chilling secrets imaginable. And trust me, you won't believe some of these until you see them. Stay right here, because we're about to uncover the 10 most terrifying things in space you never knew existed. Understanding these cosmic dangers not only fuels our curiosity, but also helps us grasp the unpredictable and mysterious nature of our universe, ready to get spooked. Let's dive in. The vastness of space is truly mind-boggling. Imagine, if you can, the sheer scale of the universe. Our planet Earth is just a tiny speck in the immense cosmic ocean. To put this into perspective, let's talk about the observable universe. This is the part of the universe that we can see with our current technology, and it spans about 93 billion light years in diameter. Just one light year is the distance light travels in a year, which is about 6 trillion miles. So 93 billion light years is almost incomprehensible. And here's where it gets even scarier. The observable universe is just a fraction of the entire universe. There could be countless galaxies, stars, and possibly even black holes beyond what we can see. This unknown expanse is what truly sends shivers down one's spine. The vastness itself is a reminder of how tiny and insignificant we are in the grand scheme of things. Plus, the idea that there could be unfathomable mysteries lurking in the unobservable parts of the universe adds to the sense of cosmic horror. We have barely scratched the surface of understanding space, and the more we learn, the more we realize how much we don't know. This vast and largely unexplored frontier is a source of both awe and terror. Black holes, the cosmic vacuum cleaners, the very name sends chills down your spine. Black holes are perhaps the most enigmatic and fearsome entities in the cosmos. Formed from the remnants of massive stars that have exhausted their nuclear fuel, black holes are regions where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their pull. You might be wondering how something can be so powerful. It's all about gravity. When a massive star collapses under its own weight, it compresses into an incredibly small space, creating a gravitational field so intense that it warps the very fabric of space-time around it. Picture an immensely heavy ball placed on a stretched rubber sheet. The ball creates a deep well, and anything that comes too close will roll into it, unable to escape. This analogy helps us understand how black holes function. Their gravitational pull is so extreme that they can shred stars, suck up planets, and distort light, creating a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. This is where you see light bending around the black hole, making it appear as if space itself is being twisted. But what's really terrifying is the event horizon, the so-called point of no return. Once anything crosses this boundary, it's doomed. Not even the fastest thing in the universe, light, can find its way out. Some theories suggest that black holes could lead to other parts of the universe or even other dimensions through what are called wormholes, but this is still a topic of much debate. For now, what we do know is that getting near a black hole would be the ultimate one-way trip. The immense power and mystery of black holes remind us of the raw, unpredictable forces that govern our universe, forces that we are only beginning to understand. So, as we peer into the void, let's remember that these cosmic vacuum cleaners are a stark reminder of just how little we know about the universe and the frightening possibilities it holds. Quasars, the blinding beacons, imagine the brightest thing you've ever seen, now multiply that by a billion. That's a quasar for you. Quasars are the ultra-luminous powerhouses of the universe, capable of outshining entire galaxies with their energy output. These cosmic beasts are essentially supermassive black holes surrounded by an accretion disk of gas and dust. As matter spirals into the black hole, it gets heated to extreme temperatures, emitting enormous amounts of light and radiation. The energy output of a single quasar can be thousands of times greater than that of the Milky Way. 
Quasars are so bright that they can be seen across billions of light years, making them some of the most distant objects we can observe. It's almost as if these beacons are screaming their presence across the cosmos, but their intense radiation and energy can have devastating effects on their surroundings. Quasars can strip nearby stars of their gas, disrupt planetary systems, and even halt the formation of new stars in their host galaxies. They are not just passive celestial objects, but active agents capable of altering the fate of entire star systems. The sheer power and brilliance of quasars remind us of the incredible forces that exist in the universe, forces that can both create and destroy on unimaginable scales. So, while they serve as important markers for studying the distant universe, their terrifying potential to disrupt cosmic harmony is a sobering reminder of the volatile nature of space. The next terrifying phenomenon we need to discuss is gamma-ray bursts, celestial death rays. Gamma-ray bursts are the most energetic events known in the universe. These colossal explosions release more energy in just a few seconds than our sun will produce over its entire lifetime. Imagine the power of a thousand suns unleashed in an instant. That's the kind of force we're dealing with here. Gamma-ray bursts originate from extremely violent events, such as the collapse of massive stars or the collision of neutron stars. When these catastrophic events occur, they emit a narrow beam of intense gamma radiation, which can travel across vast distances in space. If one of these gamma-ray bursts were to hit Earth, the consequences would be catastrophic. The radiation could strip away the Earth's protective ozone layer, exposing life to harmful ultraviolet radiation from the Sun. This could lead to a mass extinction event, wiping out a significant portion of life on our planet. The sheer unpredictability and devastating potential of gamma-ray bursts remind us of the delicate balance that sustains life on Earth and how easily it could be disrupted by the violent forces of the cosmos. While these bursts are incredibly rare and the chances of one hitting Earth are slim, the possibility is enough to send chills down your spine. Gamma-ray bursts serve as a stark reminder of the raw, uncontrollable power that exists in the universe, power that can awe and terrify us in equal measure. The next spine-chilling phenomenon we need to explore is rogue planets, the Wanderers. Imagine planets drifting aimlessly through the dark void of space with no parent star to orbit. These are rogue planets, and their eerie, solitary journeys make them some of the most mysterious objects in the universe. Unlike planets in our solar system that orbit a star, rogue planets have been ejected from their original systems, possibly due to gravitational interactions with other celestial bodies. This leaves them to wander alone through the galaxy, their paths unpredictable and their destinations unknown. Without the warmth of a star, rogue planets are cold, dark, and inhospitable, making them almost impossible to detect. They travel through space in silence, undisturbed by the gravitational pull of a nearby sun, and their presence is often only felt when they happen to pass in front of a distant star, momentarily bending its light, an event known as gravitational microlensing. Rogue planets can vary greatly in size, from small rocky bodies to gas giants larger than Jupiter. Their potential to disrupt solar systems is what makes them truly terrifying. If a rogue planet were to pass close to our solar system, its gravitational influence could alter the orbits of planets, potentially sending them on collision courses or ejecting them from the system entirely. This cosmic billiard game could have catastrophic consequences for any life forms inhabiting those planets. The presence of rogue planets reminds us of the chaotic and unpredictable nature of the universe. Their silent, solitary voyages through the cosmos are a poignant reminder of the delicate balance that keeps planetary systems stable. As we continue to explore the vast reaches of space, the discovery of these wandering enigmas challenges our understanding of planetary formation and dynamics. The existence of rogue planets serves to deepen the mystery of our universe and highlights the unseen, silent threats that may be lurking in the dark expanse. 
Dark matter and dark energy, the invisible forces, imagine an energy and matter that we can't see, touch, or even directly detect. Yet it makes up about 85% of the matter in the universe and is responsible for its accelerated expansion. That's dark matter and dark energy for you. Dark matter is the unseen mass that exerts gravitational forces holding galaxies together. Without it, galaxies would fall apart because there wouldn't be enough observable mass to keep them intact. Although we can't observe dark matter directly, its presence has been inferred through its gravitational effects on visible matter, such as stars and galaxies. The idea that there are invisible particles influencing the structure of the universe is both mind-boggling and terrifying. Now imagine dark energy, an even more mysterious force that's pushing the universe apart at an accelerating rate. It acts in opposition to gravity, driving galaxies away from each other. This discovery has led scientists to rethink our understanding of the universe's ultimate fate. If dark energy continues to dominate, it could lead to scenarios like the Big Rip, where galaxies, stars, and even atoms could be torn apart. The origin and nature of dark energy are some of the greatest mysteries in physics. The notion that our universe is governed by forces we don't fully understand, forces that could dictate the ultimate fate of everything we know, is both humbling and frightening. Studying dark matter and dark energy not only challenges our scientific knowledge, but also raises philosophical questions about the nature of reality itself. These invisible forces remind us of how much we still have to learn and how little we truly know about the universe. So, as we delve deeper into the cosmos, let's not forget these shadowy entities that hold the key to understanding the full picture of our universe. Cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang. Imagine a faint whisper from the dawn of the universe, a relic from the time when the cosmos was just a newborn. That's the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, or CMB for short. Discovered by accident in 1965 by Arno Penziers and Robert Wilson, this faint microwave signal is the afterglow of the Big Bang, the colossal explosion that gave birth to our universe approximately 13, 8 billion years ago. The CMB is omnipresent, filling the universe with a uniform glow that we can detect with microwave-sensitive instruments. You might be wondering why this radiation is so important. Well, the CMB is like a cosmic time machine, allowing scientists to peer back to a time just 380, 000 years after the Big Bang. Before this point, the universe was a hot, dense plasma where light couldn't travel freely. But as the universe expanded and cooled, protons and electrons combined to form neutral hydrogen atoms, allowing light to finally escape and travel through space. This first light is what we now observe as the CMB, a snapshot of the universe in its infancy. The CMB isn't just a uniform glow, it contains tiny fluctuations in temperature that correspond to regions of different densities. These fluctuations are the seeds of all future structure in the universe galaxies, stars, and planets. By studying the CMB, scientists have been able to glean critical information about the early universe, such as its age, composition, and rate of expansion. One of the most fascinating aspects of the CMB is that it provides strong evidence for the theory of inflation. This theory suggests that in the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang, the universe underwent a rapid and exponential expansion. The uniformity and slight temperature variations in the CMB support this idea, giving us clues about the conditions that existed in those fleeting moments. The discovery of the CMB was a groundbreaking achievement, earning Penziers and Wilson the Nobel Prize in Physics and revolutionizing our understanding of the cosmos. It confirmed the Big Bang Theory as the leading explanation for the origin of the universe and opened up new avenues of research into its early history. The implications of the CMB for our understanding of the universe are profound. It serves as a reminder that we are part of a vast, dynamic universe that has been evolving for billions of years. 
The afterglow of the Big Bang is not just a relic of the past. It's a vital tool that continues to shed light on the mysteries of the cosmos, helping us to unravel the story of our existence. As we continue to explore the universe, the cosmic microwave background radiation will remain a crucial piece of the puzzle, guiding us as we seek to understand the origins and fate of everything we know. The next phenomenon that will leave you awestruck is neutron stars, the ultimate density. Neutron stars are the remnants of massive stars that have undergone a supernova explosion. When a star that is several times more massive than our Sun reaches the end of its life, it explodes in a cataclysmic event and the core that remains collapses under gravity to form a neutron star. These stellar remnants are incredibly dense, so much so that a sugar cube-sized amount of neutron star material would weigh about a billion tons on Earth. This extraordinary density occurs because the protons and electrons in the star's core are crushed together to form neutrons. Essentially, neutron stars are composed almost entirely of neutrons, which are subatomic particles without an electric charge. But the fascinating part doesn't stop there. Under such extreme conditions, matter can reach exotic states. It's theorized that at the core of neutron stars, neutrons might break down into their constituent quarks and form a quark-gluon plasma. This is a state of matter where quarks, which are the building blocks of protons and neutrons and gluons, which mediate the strong force that holds quarks together, move freely rather than being confined inside particles. The magnetic fields of neutron stars are also mind-blowing. They can be trillions of times stronger than Earth's magnetic field, generating intense radiation that can be observed as pulsars neutron stars that emit beams of electromagnetic radiation from their magnetic poles. As these stars spin, their radiation appears to pulse, much like a cosmic lighthouse. The idea that a single teaspoon of neutron star material would weigh as much as a mountain on Earth is almost impossible to fathom. Neutron stars challenge our understanding of matter and physics, pushing the limits of what we believe is possible. The study of these dense objects offers insights into the fundamental forces of the universe from gravity to quantum mechanics. And as we continue to explore the cosmos, neutron stars remind us of the incredible and often terrifying phenomena that exist beyond our planet, supernova stellar explosions. Imagine a star meeting its end in a spectacular cataclysmic explosion, releasing more energy in a few seconds than our sun will emit in its entire lifetime. That's a supernova for you, these stellar explosions occur when massive stars exhaust their nuclear fuel. Without the outward pressure to counteract gravity, the star collapses under its own weight, resulting in a massive explosion that can outshine entire galaxies. Supernova play a crucial role in the cosmos by distributing elements across the universe. When a star explodes, it blasts elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron into space, seeding future generations of stars, planets, and even life itself. In fact, the elements that make up our bodies were forged in the hearts of ancient stars, later released by supernova. This process enriches the interstellar medium, the material between stars, with the building blocks necessary for new celestial objects. But the story of a supernova doesn't end with the explosion. The remnants of the star's core can collapse into either a neutron star or a black hole, depending on the original star's mass. If the core is between one, four and about three times the mass of the sun, it becomes a neutron star, a dense object composed almost entirely of neutrons. However, if the core is more massive, it continues to collapse into a black hole, a region of space with such intense gravity that not even light can escape. The violent death of a star in a supernova is a dramatic event with far-reaching consequences. It's not just a celestial spectacle, it's a cosmic recycling process that ensures the continuity of matter in the universe. By spreading elements across space, supernova enable the formation of new stars and planetary systems, including those that might harbor life. This cycle of creation and destruction is a fundamental aspect of our universe, 
demonstrating the interconnectedness of all cosmic phenomena. The study of supernova not only helps us understand the life cycle of stars, but also sheds light on the origins of the elements that make up everything around us. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember that the atoms in your body were once part of a star that exploded in a supernova, contributing to the ongoing cycle of cosmic evolution. Void regions, cosmic deserts, imagine drifting through a vast, empty part of space where galaxies are sparse and isolation is the norm. These are void regions, also known as cosmic deserts. They are some of the largest structures in the universe, spanning hundreds of millions of light years. Void regions are areas where the density of galaxies is significantly lower than average, creating colossal gaps in the cosmic web. The sheer emptiness of these regions is what makes them so eerie. While most of the universe is arranged in a complex network of galaxies, filaments and clusters, voids appear as the dark, empty spaces in between. Imagine floating in complete solitude with no stars or planets in sight, just an endless stretch of darkness. These voids are not completely empty, though. They contain a few lone galaxies and intergalactic gas, but these are scattered so sparsely that they do little to break the impression of an enormous desolate expanse. The existence of void regions raises intriguing questions about the formation and evolution of the universe. How did these vast, empty spaces come to be? Why are they devoid of galaxies? Scientists believe that the gravitational pull of surrounding galaxy clusters and filaments draws matter away from these regions, leaving them nearly vacant. The scale of voids can be hard to grasp. To put it in perspective, the Boötes Void, one of the largest known voids, is roughly 330 million light-years in diameter and contains only a few dozen galaxies. In contrast, a similar volume in a more typical part of the universe would contain thousands of galaxies. This level of emptiness is almost incomprehensible, making void regions some of the most mysterious and unsettling places in the cosmos. The thought of these immense, lonely stretches of space reminds us of the vast, uncharted territories that lie beyond our current understanding. They highlight the universe's incredible diversity, from densely packed galaxy clusters to these isolated, empty zones. As we continue to explore the universe, the study of void regions offers valuable insights into the large-scale structure of the cosmos and the forces that shape it. The existence of these cosmic deserts serves as a stark reminder of the universe's boundless scale and the endless mysteries it holds. The next most terrifying thing in space is alien civilizations, the Fermi Paradox. Imagine the vastness of the universe teeming with billions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars, many with planets orbiting them. Statistically, it seems almost inevitable that intelligent life should exist somewhere out there. This brings us to the Fermi Paradox, a concept named after physicist Enrico Fermi. The paradox arises from the contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial civilizations and the lack of evidence for or contact with such civilizations. The Fermi Paradox asks a haunting question. If the universe is so vast and old with so many potentially habitable planets, where is everybody? Why haven't we found any signs of advanced alien civilizations? One possible explanation is that we are truly alone in the universe, but this idea is unsettling and questions the very statistics that suggest otherwise. Another possibility is that intelligent civilizations are out there but choose to remain hidden, either to avoid us or because they have their own reasons for not making contact. This idea raises questions about their intentions and whether they might pose a threat. Some theories suggest that advanced civilizations may have already explored our galaxy in the distant past and left behind no detectable traces, or that they use communication methods beyond our current understanding. Others propose the existence of the Great Filter, a hypothetical stage in the evolution of life that is extremely difficult to surpass. 
This filter could lie behind us, meaning we are one of the very few civilizations to make it this far. Or it could be ahead of us, suggesting a grim future where most civilizations destroy themselves before mastering interstellar travel. The absence of evidence for alien civilizations is unsettling because it challenges our understanding of life and our place in the universe. It suggests that either we are entirely unique, which implies a profound responsibility to preserve life on Earth, or that there are forces or events that prevent civilizations from enduring long enough to make contact. The Fermi Paradox leaves us with more questions than answers, adding to the mystery and terror of the universe. It compels us to ponder the fragility of life and the possibility that the cosmos might be far more inhospitable than we ever imagined. As we continue to search for signs of extraterrestrial intelligence, the Fermi Paradox remains a sobering reminder of the vast unknowns that lie beyond our planet and the eerie silence that surrounds us in the cosmic void. The next fascinating yet horrifying topic we will explore is exoplanetary hellscapes, worlds beyond imagination. Imagine a planet where it rains glass sideways in supersonic winds, or a world so close to its star that temperatures soar high enough to melt metal. These are not scenes from a science fiction novel, but real places in our universe. Take, for instance, the exoplanet HD 189733b, located about 64 light-years away from Earth. This planet is a gas giant, much like Jupiter, but with a twist. The weather on HD 189733b is deadly. It experiences fierce winds that blow at speeds of up to 5, 400 miles per hour, faster than the speed of sound. But that's not all. The atmosphere is filled with tiny silicate particles that condense into glass, and these glass shards are hurled sideways in the violent winds. Imagine the devastation such a storm would bring. Another extreme exoplanet is Kelt 9b, one of the hottest planets ever discovered. Located about 670 light years away, this gas giant orbits so close to its star that temperatures on the planet can reach up to 7, 800 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than some stars. This intense heat causes the planet's atmosphere to evaporate at an alarming rate creating a tail of material much like a comet. The sheer heat of Kelt 9b makes it an inhospitable hellscape with conditions far beyond what any known life form could endure. Then there's the exoplanet Wasp 12b, a planet being slowly devoured by its own star. Situated about 1, 400 light years from Earth, Wasp 12b is a gas giant that orbits so close to its star that it's losing mass at a staggering rate. The intense gravitational forces from the star distort the planet into an egg shape, and the heat strips away its outer layers, forming a stream of gas spiraling into the star. It's a cosmic version of a death spiral, a grim reminder of the destructive power of gravitational forces. Speaking of gravity, consider the exoplanet Gliese 581c, which resides in the habitable zone of its star just 20 light years away. At first glance, this might seem like a promising candidate for life, but the reality is far more daunting. If Gliese 581c has a dense atmosphere, the planet could be trapped in a runaway greenhouse effect, leading to extremely high surface temperatures similar to Venus. If it lacks an atmosphere, the temperature could fluctuate wildly between scorching days and freezing nights. The gravitational forces on Gliese 581c are also much stronger than on Earth, making movement difficult and potentially crushing for any would-be inhabitants. These exoplanetary hellscapes challenge our understanding of what planets can be like and raise questions about the limits of habitability in the universe. They serve as stark reminders that while Earth is far from perfect, it is a sanctuary compared to these extreme worlds the study of such exoplanets not only deepens our appreciation for the delicate balance that sustains life on Earth, but also expands our knowledge of the diverse and often hostile environments that exist in the cosmos. 
So, as we continue to search for other worlds, let these exoplanetary hellscapes remind us of the incredible variety and often terrifying conditions that lie beyond our solar system. Time dilation, the relativity nightmare. Imagine a universe where the passage of time is not constant, but instead can slow down or speed up depending on your relative speed or the gravitational forces around you. This concept, known as time dilation, was predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, and it challenges our intuitive understanding of time itself. According to Einstein, time dilation occurs in two main scenarios, high-speed travel and the presence of massive objects. When an object moves at speeds approaching the speed of light, time for that object slows down relative to a stationary observer. This means that if you are traveling in a spaceship at near light speed, the time you experience would be much slower than the time experienced by someone back on Earth. For example, if you embarked on a journey to a distant star system and returned, you might find that only a few years have passed for you, while decades or even centuries have passed on Earth. This difference in the passage of time is a direct consequence of the laws of physics at extreme velocities, the second scenario involves the gravitational influence of massive objects, such as black holes or neutron stars. In the presence of strong gravitational fields, time slows down for objects closer to the source of gravity compared to those further away. This effect is known as gravitational time dilation. Imagine being near the event horizon of a black hole, where gravity is so intense that time nearly stands still. For an observer far from the black hole, your movements would appear to freeze, while for you, time would seem to pass normally. The closer you get to the massive object, the more pronounced the time dilation becomes. This bending of time near massive objects has been confirmed through experiments and astronomical observations. One famous example is the Global Positioning System GPS, which relies on satellites orbiting the Earth. These satellites experience both time dilation due to their high speed and the weaker gravitational field they are in compared to the Earth's surface. Engineers must account for these relativistic effects to ensure the GPS system provides accurate positioning. The implications of time dilation are profound and even a bit eerie. It means that time is not an absolute, universal constant but can be altered by speed and gravity. This relativistic nightmare challenges our perception of reality, suggesting that the universe operates in ways that are far from our everyday experiences. Time dilation also raises tantalizing possibilities for space travel and the exploration of the cosmos. If we could travel at near light speeds, we could effectively journey across vast distances of space within a human lifetime, although the passage of time for those left behind would be dramatically different. As we continue to push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe, the concept of time dilation serves as a humbling reminder of the complexities and mysteries that lie at the heart of reality. It forces us to rethink the nature of time itself and consider the strange, awe-inspiring ways in which the cosmos operates. Pulsars, the cosmic lighthouses. Picture a cosmic lighthouse beaming intense radiation across the universe. These are pulsars, the rapidly rotating remnants of massive stars that have exploded in supernova. When the core of such a star collapses, it forms a neutron star, an incredibly dense object composed almost entirely of neutrons. Some of these neutron stars become pulsars, emitting powerful beams of electromagnetic radiation from their magnetic poles. As the pulsar spins, these beams sweep across space, creating a pulsing effect much like the rotating light of a lighthouse. Pulsars are known for their extreme regularity, with some spinning hundreds of times per second. These rapid rotations are the result of the conservation of angular momentum during the star's collapse, causing the neutron star to spin incredibly fast. The intense magnetic fields of pulsars, which can be trillions of times stronger than Earth's magnetic field, generate the beams of radiation that we detect as radio waves, X-rays, or even gamma rays. The precise timing of these pulses makes pulsars valuable tools for astrophysicists, 
serving as natural cosmic clocks that help measure distances in space and study the behavior of matter under extreme conditions. However, the same attributes that make pulsars fascinating also make them potentially dangerous. The intense radiation emitted by pulsars can have devastating effects on their surroundings. If a pulsar were to pass near a planetary system, its radiation could strip away atmospheres, disrupt electronic systems, and pose serious risks to any form of life. The magnetic fields of pulsars are so strong that they can even affect the space-time around them, causing distortions that challenge our understanding of physics. One particularly terrifying type of pulsar is the magnetar, a neutron star with an exceptionally strong magnetic field. Magnetars can emit powerful bursts of gamma rays, known as gamma ray flares, which can affect objects thousands of light years away. In 2004, a magnetar located 50 light years from Earth released a burst so powerful that it briefly altered our planet's ionosphere, highlighting the immense energy these objects can unleash. Pulsars remind us of the incredible, often violent, phenomena that occur in the universe. They challenge our understanding of matter, energy, and the fundamental forces of nature. As we continue to study these cosmic lighthouses, we gain valuable insights into the extreme conditions that exist in space, as well as the mechanisms that drive the evolution of stars. The next time you gaze at the night sky, remember that among the stars there are pulsars silently pulsing away, telling the story of their dramatic origins and the relentless forces that govern our universe. The next mind-bending concept we need to discuss is dark flow, the mysterious motion. Imagine vast clusters of galaxies, each containing trillions of stars, all drifting towards a specific region in the sky. This peculiar movement is what scientists call dark flow. Unlike the expansion of the universe, which is well explained by the Big Bang Theory, dark flow refers to a highly unanticipated uniform motion of galaxy clusters towards a single point in space. In 2008, astronomers studying the cosmic microwave background radiation discovered this strange phenomenon. They noticed that galaxy clusters were not just moving randomly, but instead exhibited a collective drift towards a particular area in the sky. This movement cannot be accounted for by the known forces and matter in the observable universe, adding an extra layer of mystery to the already enigmatic cosmos. One leading theory suggests that dark flow might be caused by structures beyond the observable universe exerting a gravitational pull on these galaxy clusters. If true, this could imply the existence of a much larger and more complex universe than we can currently observe, one that might contain massive, unseen objects influencing galaxy clusters across vast distances. The idea that there could be something beyond our observable horizon, something powerful enough to affect entire clusters of galaxies, is both thrilling and terrifying. Dark flow remains one of the most puzzling cosmic phenomena, challenging our understanding of the universe's large-scale structure and dynamics. It raises profound questions about what lies beyond our observational limits and whether we will ever have the means to uncover these hidden aspects of the cosmos. This unexplainable motion serves as a stark reminder of how little we still know about the universe, and it encourages scientists to continue searching for answers. So, as we keep studying the vast expanses of space, dark flow stands as one of the many mysteries that tantalize our curiosity and drive our quest for knowledge. The next cosmic horror we need to delve into is hypernova, the stellar titans, Imagine a stellar explosion so powerful that it makes even a supernova seem small by comparison. That's a hypernova for you. Hypernova are the ultimate stellar explosions, occurring when a star much more massive than those that cause supernova reaches the end of its life. These titanic events release an amount of energy so immense that it's almost beyond comprehension often surpassing the energy output of a typical supernova by orders of magnitude. Hypernova are extremely rare, which in a way is fortunate for us given their extraordinary power. 
To visualize their energy, consider this. A single hypernova can emit more energy in a few moments than our sun will produce over its entire 10 billion year lifespan. They can outshine entire galaxies for a brief period, becoming some of the brightest objects in the universe. The process leading to a hypernova is as dramatic as its explosion. When a massive star, often more than 30 times the size of our sun, exhausts its nuclear fuel, it collapses under its own gravity. This collapse triggers a colossal explosion that not only blows away the outer layers of the star, but also often results in the formation of a black hole. During the explosion, jets of material are ejected at nearly the speed of light, traveling vast distances across space. These jets can generate intense gamma-ray bursts, the most powerful form of electromagnetic radiation, potentially affecting anything in their path. Hypernova play a crucial role in the cosmos by enriching the interstellar medium with heavy elements like gold, uranium, and platinum. These elements are crucial for the formation of planets and even life as we know it. The immense energy from a hypernova can also trigger the compression of nearby gas clouds, possibly leading to the formation of new stars. Yet, the sheer destructive power of hypernova is what makes them truly terrifying. If one were to occur relatively close to Earth, the gamma-ray bursts and shockwaves could have devastating effects on our planet's atmosphere, potentially stripping away the ozone layer and exposing life to deadly radiation. In summary, hypernova are the titans of stellar explosions, capable of unleashing unimaginable amounts of energy and reshaping their cosmic neighborhoods. Their rarity is a small comfort as the raw power they embody represents one of the most awe-inspiring and terrifying phenomena in the universe. The next cataclysmic phenomenon we need to investigate is galactic cannibalism merging galaxies. Imagine two massive galaxies slowly drifting towards each other over millions of years, inevitably colliding and merging in a spectacular cosmic dance. This is the phenomenon known as galactic cannibalism. Unlike human cannibalism, this process involves galaxies merging and consuming one another, resulting in dramatic changes to their structure and appearance. As galaxies collide, their gravitational forces interact, causing vast clouds of gas, dust, and stars to crash into each other. These collisions can trigger the formation of new stars as the gas clouds compress and collapse under the intense gravitational forces. Picture two whirlpools merging, creating a chaotic but mesmerizing swirl of galactic materials. The result is often a new, larger galaxy with a different shape and composition than the original galaxies. One of the most dramatic examples of galactic cannibalism can be seen in the Antennae galaxies. Located about 45 million light-years away, these two colliding galaxies are in the process of merging into a single, larger galaxy. The collision has sparked massive star formation, creating bright, blue clusters of young stars that illuminate the cosmic battlefield. While the process of galactic cannibalism is a natural part of the universe's evolution, it can be quite a violent event. The supermassive black holes at the centers of the colliding galaxies also play a crucial role in this process. As the galaxies merge, their black holes move towards each other, eventually combining to form an even larger black hole. This event can release enormous amounts of energy, potentially generating powerful jets of radiation that can be observed across vast distances. The Milky Way, our very own galaxy, is not immune to galactic cannibalism. It has already consumed smaller galaxies in the past and is on a collision course with its neighboring galaxy, Andromeda. In about four, five billion years, the Milky Way and Andromeda will collide and merge to form a new galaxy, often referred to as Milkomda or Milkdromda. While this collision will dramatically alter the appearance of both galaxies, it is unlikely to have a direct impact on our solar system due to the vast distances between stars. However, the night sky as seen from Earth will change spectacularly as the galaxies merge, offering future observers a front row seat to this cosmic event. 
Galactic cannibalism is a powerful reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the universe. It highlights the immense gravitational forces at play and the ongoing interactions between galaxies. As we continue to observe and study these cosmic collisions, we gain a deeper understanding of the processes that shape galaxies and the broader universe. The sheer scale and grandeur of galactic cannibalism serve as a humbling reminder of our place in the cosmos and the ever-present forces that drive its evolution. The next cosmic phenomenon that can both fascinate and terrify us is solar flares, the sun's temper tantrums. Imagine the sun suddenly releasing a massive burst of energy, sending waves of charged particles hurtling through space at near light speeds. These are solar flares, intense eruptions that occur on the sun's surface, capable of unleashing more energy in a few minutes than the entire Earth consumes in a year. But what exactly causes these solar temper tantrums? Solar flares are triggered by the complex and dynamic interactions of the sun's magnetic fields. When these magnetic fields twist and entwine, they can release tremendous amounts of energy in the form of radiation and charged particles. These powerful bursts are often accompanied by coronal mass ejections, or CME, which are colossal clouds of plasma and magnetic field ejected from the sun's corona. One of the most striking effects of solar flares is their potential to disrupt life on Earth, particularly our technology. When these charged particles reach Earth, they can interact with our planet's magnetic field, causing geomagnetic storms. These storms can have a wide range of impacts, from creating breathtaking auroras to crippling our technological infrastructure. For instance, they can disrupt satellite communications, interfere with GPS systems, and even cause power grid failures. The damage caused by a solar flare depends on its intensity and the orientation of the magnetic field it carries. A vivid historical example of the devastating power of solar flares is the Carrington event of 1859. Named after British astronomer Richard Carrington, who observed the solar flare that caused it, this event was the most powerful geomagnetic storm on record. The flare was so intense that telegraph systems across Europe and North America failed, with some operators even receiving electric shocks. Auroras were seen as far south as the Caribbean, turning night into day and causing widespread astonishment and confusion. If an event of similar magnitude were to occur today, the consequences could be far more severe. Our modern society is heavily dependent on technology, and a powerful solar flare could potentially knock out satellites, disrupt communications, and cause widespread power outages. The economic impact alone could run into trillions of dollars, not to mention the chaos that would ensue from the loss of critical services. It's a chilling reminder of how our advanced civilization is still vulnerable to the raw, uncontrollable forces of nature. While solar flares are a natural part of the sun's activity cycle, understanding and monitoring them is crucial for mitigating their potential impacts on Earth. Scientists continuously study the sun to predict these events and develop strategies to protect our technology from their effects. As we become more reliant on technology, the importance of space weather forecasting cannot be overstated. Solar flares serve as a stark reminder of the delicate balance that sustains our technological world and the ever-present threat of cosmic forces beyond our control. As we continue to unlock the mysteries of the sun, we must remain vigilant and prepared for its occasional temper tantrums. The next subject we're diving into is magnetars, the magnetic monsters. Magnetars are a type of neutron star, but they are unlike any other. With magnetic fields up to a thousand times stronger than typical neutron stars, these celestial bodies are the most magnetic objects known in the universe. To put this into perspective, the magnetic field of a magnetar can be a quadrillion times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. This incredible magnetism comes from the rapid rotation and intense gravitational collapse of a massive star's core, creating a dynamo effect that amplifies the magnetic field to unimaginable levels. The power of a magnetar's magnetic field is so intense that it can distort the atoms in its vicinity. 
turning them into elongated shapes rather than the spherical forms we are familiar with. But the real terror lies in the potential impact of these magnetic monsters on anything that comes close. Magnetors can emit colossal bursts of X-rays and gamma rays, known as gamma ray flares, which are among the most energetic events in the universe. These bursts are so powerful that they can affect objects thousands of light years away. If Earth were to be in the path of such a burst, the consequences could be catastrophic. The gamma ray radiation could strip away our planet's ozone layer, exposing all life to harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun, potentially leading to a mass extinction event. The intense magnetic fields can also wreak havoc on electronics and communication systems. A magnetor's magnetic field could induce electric currents in metallic objects, frying electronic circuits and potentially crippling satellites and other technology. This would have severe implications for our modern, technology-dependent society. Imagine a world where power grids fail, communications are disrupted, and navigation systems go offline, all because of a magnetic monster thousands of light years away. The existence of magnetors adds another layer of complexity to our understanding of the universe. These objects challenge our knowledge of physics and the fundamental forces that govern matter. They also serve as a reminder of the awesome and often terrifying power that exists in the cosmos. As we continue to study these magnetic monsters, we learn more about the extreme conditions that can exist in space and the potential threats they pose to our own world. The next critical issue we need to address is space debris, the growing threat. Imagine a cluttered, chaotic highway where vehicles are whizzing by at breakneck speeds with no traffic control. This is an apt analogy for the situation in Earth's orbit right now. Space debris, also known as space junk, consists of defunct satellites, spent rocket stages, and fragments from collisions and explosions. Over the past six decades of space exploration, we have accumulated an alarming amount of debris that now poses a significant threat to active satellites, space missions, and even the International Space Station. The problem of space debris is exacerbated by the fact that objects in orbit travel at incredibly high velocities, often exceeding 17, 500 miles per hour. At such speeds, even a small piece of debris can cause catastrophic damage. For instance, a paint fleck traveling at orbital speeds can pierce the surface of a satellite or spacecraft, potentially compromising its functionality. The danger is not just theoretical, there have been numerous incidents of space debris causing damage to operational satellites and necessitating evasive maneuvers by the International Space Station. One of the most dramatic examples of the space debris threat occurred in 2009, when an inactive Russian satellite, Cosmos 2251, collided with an operational Iridium communications satellite. The collision produced thousands of new debris fragments, each one a potential hazard for other satellites and space missions. This kind of event highlights the growing risk of a cascading effect known as the Kessler Syndrome. Proposed by NASA scientist Donald Kessler in 1978, the Kessler Syndrome describes a scenario where the density of objects in low Earth orbit becomes so high that collisions between objects create more debris, leading to an unstoppable chain reaction of collisions. This could render parts of space unusable for future satellites and space missions, posing a severe challenge to the space industry and scientific research. The increasing amount of space debris also raises concerns about the safety of human spaceflight. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station frequently have to perform debris avoidance maneuvers to reduce the risk of collision. These maneuvers require careful planning and precise execution, and even then, they can't eliminate the risk entirely. The threat is particularly acute during spacewalks when astronauts are outside the relative protection of their spacecraft. To mitigate the risks posed by space debris, international space agencies and private companies are working on various solutions. 
One approach is to design satellites and rockets with end-of-life plans that ensure they can be safely deorbited or moved to graveyard orbits where they pose less risk. Another strategy involves developing technologies for actively removing debris from orbit, such as robotic arms, nets, or harpoons designed to capture and deorbit defunct satellites and other large debris. Additionally, new guidelines and regulations aim to minimize the creation of new debris by requiring better collision avoidance measures and the responsible disposal of space assets. Despite these efforts, the challenge of space debris remains daunting. As the number of satellites and space missions continues to increase, so does the potential for collisions and the creation of more debris. The growing threat of space debris is a stark reminder of the need for international cooperation and innovative solutions to protect the space environment. It's a call to action for all spacefaring nations and organizations to work together to ensure that space remains a safe and sustainable environment for future generations. In summary, space debris represents a growing threat to satellites, space missions, and human spaceflight. The high-speed nature of orbiting debris makes even small fragments dangerous, and the potential for a cascading effect of collisions adds to the urgency of addressing this issue. As we continue to explore and utilize space, we must prioritize the development and implementation of effective debris mitigation strategies to safeguard our activities in orbit and beyond. The Great Attractor Cosmic Mystery Imagine a colossal gravitational force so powerful that it's pulling entire galaxy clusters towards it at breakneck speeds. This enigmatic entity is known as the Great Attractor, located about 150 million light years away in the direction of the Centaurus constellation. The Great Attractor remains one of the most baffling phenomena in the universe. Despite its immense gravitational influence, the true nature of the Great Attractor is shrouded in mystery. As its name suggests, the Great Attractor exerts a significant gravitational pull, causing the galaxies within the Laniakia supercluster, including our own Milky Way, to move towards it. This attraction is so strong that it overcomes the expansion of the universe in its vicinity, drawing galaxies inward like a cosmic magnet. The movement of these galaxies is not random but directed towards a specific region in space, suggesting the presence of an incredibly massive object or structure exerting this force. However, the exact nature of what lies at the heart of the Great Attractor is still unknown. The core of the Great Attractor lies in a region of space known as the Zone of Avoidance, an area obscured by the dense plane of our Milky Way galaxy. This makes it incredibly difficult for astronomers to observe directly using visible or near-visible wavelengths of light. Nonetheless, scientists have employed other methods such as X-ray and radio observations to peer through this cosmic veil and gather clues about what might be causing this immense gravitational pull. Some theories suggest that the Great Attractor is a supermassive cluster of galaxies, while others propose it could be a dense concentration of dark matter, the mysterious and invisible substance that makes up most of the universe's mass. The uncertainty surrounding the Great Attractor fuels both fascination and a sense of cosmic unease. Understanding its true nature could provide critical insights into the fundamental forces that govern the universe and the large-scale structure of the cosmos. The Great Attractor serves as a profound reminder of how little we know about the universe and the hidden forces that shape it. As researchers continue to study this gravitational anomaly, we may one day uncover the secrets of one of the universe's greatest mysteries, offering new perspectives on the vast and complex nature of our cosmos. Throughout our journey, we've uncovered some of the most terrifying phenomena lurking in the cosmos. From the insatiable black holes that devour everything in their path to the blinding brilliance of quasars, we've seen the raw, untamed power that exists in our universe. Gamma ray bursts with their potential to obliterate life on Earth, and rogue planets drifting aimlessly through the dark void, remind us of the unpredictability and danger that lie beyond our planet. 
We've explored the invisible forces of dark matter and dark energy, which challenge our understanding of the universe's structure and fate. The cosmic microwave background radiation takes us back to the dawn of the universe, offering a glimpse into its origins. Neutron stars and supernova reveal the ultimate density and explosive power of dying stars, while void regions expose the eerie emptiness that punctuates the universe's vast expanse. The Fermi Paradox provokes us to question the absence of alien civilizations amidst the statistical likelihood of their existence. We've delved into the exoplanetary hellscapes where conditions are so extreme they defy imagination and the concept of time dilation which bends our perception of reality. Pulsars with their intense radiation and the mysterious dark flow challenge our grasp of cosmic dynamics. Hypernova, the titans of stellar explosions, and the dramatic dance of galactic cannibalism highlight the destructive and creative forces at play. Solar flares and magnetars remind us of the ever-present threats posed by our own star and the magnetic monsters scattered throughout the galaxy. The growing menace of space debris underscores the need for responsible exploration, while the enigmatic Great Attractor pulls entire galaxy clusters towards it, shrouded in mystery. As we've seen, the universe is full of wonders and terrors that challenge our understanding and ignite our curiosity. These cosmic phenomena emphasize the importance of space exploration, pushing us to discover more about the universe and our place within it. By continuing to explore the cosmos, we not only satisfy our innate curiosity, but also gain a deeper appreciation for the delicate balance that sustains life on Earth. So stay curious and keep looking up, for the universe still holds countless mysteries waiting to be uncovered. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest explorations into the wonders and mysteries of space.